Hey folks and welcome back to this, the next in the series of videos. This is April's video uh, looking at all the autographs um, that I've added to my site in the last month since we did um, March's video. Um, I, I'm, I'm doing this slightly early. I mean technically there's a day or so left in, in April but uh, I'm actually going away on holiday so won't get a chance to, to make this any earlier. So, um, so here we go. So the first thing is actually a purchase. Um, I bought this uh, from the website. Uh, it's basically it's Ricky Lindholm and Katie Micucci, hoping I pronounced that right. Be probably better known um, as Garfunkel and Oates. Um, Ricky Lindholm's uh, been seen. She, she, she's ac acted in quite a lot of stuff actually. She's probably probably best known for things like Hell Baby stuff like that. Kate Micucci was in um, the Scrubs series right towards the end of the series of Scrubs. Um, so yeah, so but they produce loads of brilliantly funny songs like the loophole and stuff like that, which is which is hilarious, well worth listening to. Um, and I went on their site and realised they were selling signed auto um, signed CDs. So I, I I wanted to pick up a CD anyway, um, and to get one signed by them was great. It was actually really really cheap. There was not really much more cost to just buying it brand new anyway from a shop. So. Um, yes, yeah, so that was really cool, and I was really pleased to get that from Ricky and Kate. Uh, next item is actually something I won, um, which is quite rare on here. I don't pretend to win much stuff, but um, I actually won a another CD, weirdly enough, another signed CD, and this is signed by the Welsh rock band Stereophonics. Um, I entered a competition on Facebook, of all places, um, through the Welsh beer company Brains, and it was to win a signed CD. So, so this is the CD I got through the post. Um, pretty cool. I mean, you know, scribbly autographs, but there we go. Neither here nor there. They're real autographs signed by all the four members of the band, so yeah, Stereophonics, really cool. Next autograph set I got was from Rebecca Palmer, who is an actress best known for probably the film Quills and the TV series M.I. High. Um, another one of these disappointments, which kind of follows on from the last video, where, where again I'm receiving a lot of stuff at the moment where people are signing the back of photos rather than the front. Um, for example, I, I sent Rebecca a couple of pictures to be signed. She signed them on the back on both of them, which is why I've only put one of the pictures and one of the signatures on here. Didn't think it was worth posting everything. Um, but essentially, as you can see, this is the pic one of the pictures I sent, and um, and I've sort of cropped it slightly, but that's the, that's the autograph that I got back from her. She did also send me a postcard as well, um, which is nice. Dear Carl, thank you for your interest and kind remarks, Rebecca. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I'm a bit like, mm, I prefer it if you signed the front of the picture. You know, I don't know what the reason is why people are signing the backs, whether it's... Uh, I've had different responses to this question, and if you've got an answer, then please feel free to, to kind of just comment below as to why you think it might have happened. But some of the responses I've had say things like, well, some people don't like to ruin the photograph, so they think signing on the back means the picture doesn't get ruined. Okay, yeah, I can see that. Some people say, uh, well, it's a way of making sure that people don't just go flogging autographs on eBay to make loads of money for them. It's worth a lot less when people sign the back. So I don't know what the answer is, but um, it seems to be happening a bit more regularly. Uh, the next set of autographs I got are from Hannah Arterton. Um, Hannah's in the new TV series The Five, um, Harlan Corbin um, adaptation, and also in the series Atlantis, that I think is recently finished, but the, the BBC TV series Atlantis. Hannah's um, Gemma Arterton's younger sister, so I sent her this picture of her with Gemma, uh, which she signed, and also this, is, which is more of a sort of a glamour shot that she's taken as well. Um, really cool, very, very happy with these. Um, a nice autograph to get back. Very quick turnaround on these as well. The next few that I got back were pretty quick, actually, so that was cool. Um, the next set I got were these from Ashling B. Um, Ashling's a stand-up comedian, but also she's an actress, so she's done trolleyed, um, she's been on QI quite a few times, does a TV series Delivery Man. Um, sent her three pictures and she was lovely. She sent them all back super quick. I think it's like a week to two weeks turn around really, really quick on these. Um, she signed and personalised this one for me, which you can see, and there was a sticky note on it, which I've left on the scan as well, because I thought that was really nice. Um, she's drawn the little star on there and a little um, halo, which is cool. Uh, this one as well, which she signed for me, which is brilliant. Um, and I love this one. This is probably my favourite. She signed it, but she's also drawn a moustache on her face as well, which really made me laugh when I when I opened the letter. That was really cool. So yeah, nice nice set from Ashlyn B. Um, got her contact details from her website, so she's got her agent's details on there. So I just went on and um, wrote her a letter from there. Next set of autographs I got back are from Nicola Walker. Uh, Nicola's been in probably probably well remembered in Four Weddings as one of the terrible wedding singers in Four Weddings and a Funeral. Um, she's also been in the TV series Babylon and River as well. Um, 
sort of fairly staple actress for Brit for UK sort of drama stuff. Um, sent her two photographs and she signed them both. That one's a little bit clearer. Obviously, you can see that nicely signed on the side. This one, it's my own fault. I keep sending dark pictures to be signed and, you know, they sign them in black pen. There's not a lot I can do about that. But that was cool. Um, this, this was a slightly longer turnaround for this one. I think this took around three to four months, maybe slightly longer. So it's more of your sort of your average turnaround time for an autograph from this set. The next one, and here we are again, um, another one that's been signed on the back, really, really annoying, but hey, what can you do? I sent three photographs to Joel Fry. Uh, Joel's been in Game of Thrones, he's also in the series Plebs, Trollied, um, You and Me versus the Apocalypse, loads and loads of UK stuff. Um, so I sent him a selection of things. I sent him a picture from Game of Thrones, which is the one you can see here. I sent him one from Trollied and one from... Um, uh, plebs, oh sorry, I'm one from You and Me versus the Apocalypse, uh, and he signed them all on the back. And don't get me wrong, it's it's really nice. He signed them, returned them back, personalised this one, but again, all three are signed on the back, and you just think, oh damn it, you know. I've in fact I've even said that there, damn it, another one signed on the back. But hey, I can't afford to be picky because at least they're responding, and it's a response. So yeah, so that was quite cool. Pretty quick turnaround on these, I think, maybe two months. So yeah, fairly decent turnaround there. Uh, the next set, these are really cool. Um, it's from from a, an actress, but probably probably slightly better known as a director, a young lady by the name of Kansas Bowling. Um, she's directed the film BC Butcher, which is basically a, a sort of a serial killer film set in uh, caveman times, which is really cool. Um, uh, it's been released by the Trauma Company, so um, so Lloyd Kaufman and Trauma have personally vetted this and got this out there. Um, I've watched the film; it's a very funny film. It's it's very low budget, but the cast is great and there and it's very very funny and well directed. Um, I think Kansas is is only sixteen, seventeen, something like that. So for a first feature film, this is this is brilliant. Um, so I dropped her a line, um, managed to sort of get get hold of some details. Dropped her a line and asked for an autograph, uh, and she sent me a couple of bits. She sent me. Um, well, actually, she sent me a, um, a word search, first of all, which is really cool, which I'm guessing is part of like a promotional pack for the film. Um, she also sent me this signed picture, which is her on set um, with one of the actresses, which she signed with love at Kansas Bowling. That's cool. She also sent a PC Butcher postcard, which she signed for me as well. Um, and I love this. This is the back of the envelope she sent it in. She's drawn... Um, uh, it's Toxic, the Toxic Avenger on there. She's written Trauma Mail and also signed the envelope as well, which is absolutely brilliant. So I can't fault the girl. It's such a nice response and really, really happy with that. Um, and finally, because this is the last one for this video, um, the last one I had was from Kaylee Legrand. Um, recently watched the film Dead Rush, which is a um, sort of zombie film. And um, Kaylee stars in it. She's brilliant. I loved her in the film. She was absolutely brilliant. So I went on to went and had a little search for her just to see what I could find out about the actress. Um, discovered she had a website, so just dropped her a line and asked whether it was possible to have a signed picture. And had a response almost within 24 hours. Uh, an email back to me, which is lovely. And she said, yep, yeah, no problems. I've pop an autograph in the post and, and this is what I got. So she signed uh, this picture for me and then she's also put a little note in as well saying thanks so much for your kind words and support. She also put a post-it note on it which I haven't scanned for this one but she put a post-it note saying really sorry about the picture it's a slightly old one I haven't got any new ones at the moment but hope you like it anyway. It's just a nice touch you know I like little little things like that it's a really nice way to just kind of connect with your fans so so that was cool so so that's it for this for this video hope you've enjoyed seeing what i've had this month in april and obviously in a month's time we'll get on and crack on with may's um, production um just a quick update to let you know that i have a new um web address to get to my site it's celebrity signings.co.uk i'll pop the web link at the end of this video but uh yeah celebrity signings.co.uk hopefully you'll pop along have a little look see what's new on the site and please feel free to like this video if you did um comment say anything you'd like and perhaps start a discussion um yeah cool all right see you in a month's time cheers folks bye